Okay, I wasn't planning on doing story time with Taka, but somebody was howling because he missed his mommy. So he's going to spend a little bit of time with me while I go over some more notes. Ila goes back out to the... Oh, Ila goes back out to the Agora and runs into Grimm because why not? He's probably stalking her at this point. When they both get caught in the rain, so they run inside of an abbey for cover. And we get a bit more flirting scenes from Grimm. Now, you remember that dent that uh, Oro made in Ila's crown when he flicked it too hard that one time? Tuck, you want to read this one? With a final tug, he freed her crown. He frowned down at it, and Ila watched as his thumb ran down across the dent Oro made days before. It smoothed over instantly. He handed it to her in the limited space between them. Tuck's so good at reading, he doesn't even have to look at the book and know what the words are. Tuck, what do you think of Grimm so far? He sounds like a putz. 